Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. Because we're going to tell a story, and this story is called The Donkey in the Lion's Skin. So there are these hunters, and they hunt the lion and kill the lion and skin the The, lion. The lion. The lion that owns the skin. So the hunters are going out (laughs) to kill a lion. That This is their mission. Because they need the pelt to sell. To sell. To the villagers. Because it's going to get cold and they need the warmth. Oh, wintertime mm-hmm. is coming. And these hunters are out getting their their profit, uh, their, their product to sell. These hunters kill this lion that was probably had a family that he was trying to find the, the hunters to take home to his family. He, he was going to eat them and hang up their pelts on his clothesline. Cause, but he didn't get that. Instead, he got killed, and the li- or the hunters skinned the lion and hung its pelt out to dry in the sun. Yeah. To tan the hide out in the in the plains, and then there's a donkey in this area, part of the the world as well. I guess he's part of the village, but he came out. As well, maybe with the hunters. He's a donkey that carries things, and he's just on break. Oh, the the donkey that was coming by, he saw that this, there was a nice lion hide there, and he was like, "I like a lion skin," and uh, he puts it on over his head and his body, and uh, he's like, "I look great. This is this mm-hmm. is me. I'm a lion." I'm not a donkey. I feel good. So he puts the lion skin on, and then he goes towards the village. And as he is going towards the village, all the people in the village and all the animals in the village think they see a lion, and so they run scared. They're screaming, running away. He's, like, coming up over the the hilltop, and there's, like, the sun's coming down, and they see a silhouette, and it's a giant, it's this, it's this donkey, (laughs) he looks like he's really high up. He must be pretty far. (laughs) Yeah, he's he's probably humongous, and he loves it. He's like, yeah, "Yeah, I, I think I am a lion right now. I think being a donkey, I've got the skin. (laughs) <laughs> this is now my life. I'm super stoked. And, and then he uh, holds his head up high, and he lets out a roar. And it's, a, it's not a... It's a donkey hee haw. I don't sound like a lion at all. The village then realizes that it's a donkey, not a, a lion, and they come back. And, and they're, they're like, so mad. Like, you dumbass, you scared the shit out of us. And like, We're totally frightened by a donkey. And so they throw rotten fruit at him. And that's what you get for being a douche. You can wear fine clothes, but you're still, still stupid. <laughs> Close the chapter on this episode until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.